back after a little break and uh, I didn't have particularly much time to play with trains but uh, I did have some time to uh, search around on eBay and uh, add a few things again even though no more room almost no room don't know where to store it not below not up up top uh, it's getting tighter and tighter in here and uh, the walkway is almost blocked now to the point where I can only side scooch through here but uh, you know it's you never have enough and and I limited myself to just collecting uh, um, German railroads and uh, mostly like absolute mostly Deutsche Bundesbahn uh, Deutsche Bahn, AG, and uh, the Deutsche Reichsbahn. Um, I don't do much of the uh, Prussian and, and uh, railways prior to uh, the Second World War, prior to 1920-something after the uni unification of the Deutsche Reichsbahn. But, that being said, it is still a lot to buy and I don't think I have enough well i do have enough but i don't uh, stop to buy so uh, i was really lucky um a friend or a person i know here in in, uh, in the area he sold a bunch of ho scale trains so i was able to uh, get a few things for example this tiny little uh marklin uh, uh sliding roof uh freight car uh, and then uh, a number of these uh, uh, flat cars, uh, state cars with uh, with the uh, tubes on there from Trix with the Manusman tubes. Uh, article number is right there. Anyways, uh, that was part of the deal and uh, I really like these little free cars. You can never have enough of those little free cars. Um, but also uh, we had a whole bunch more of these little freight cars from Roku in different variations uh, with a little bit higher side uh, low sided two axle ones um, you know in various different configuration another low sided one was a pallet load in there uh, medium high boards and same as this one here medium high boards so I was, I was pretty happy I could uh, one of those as well as a couple passenger cars. Uh, kind of tough to see here, but uh, these are exact scale lengths. And another one, and they will get used probably in like a 1960s um, era um, fast train. It was like, you know, like a class. 218 in front of it like a uh, maybe even a, a steam locomotive uh, era 4 like a I don't know class 38 or something so so they'll, they'll fit nicely into uh, my train setups um, and then of course I, I did some more digging on uh, on eBay like I said because I didn't have much time for trains for for, for turning on the layout uh, because it's always too loud at night my son sleeps right in the next room here so during the week I, I can't be too late it's too loud when the trains rattle down the track um, so so then uh, I do really like the uh, the tank cars um, the, the uh, gas cars for like uh, uh, compressed gas right so uh, I bought a, quite a few of these ones. I, I do have a train with about 12, 14 of them. Um, was having bought these ones and also uh, a couple loose ones um, down here. And this one I'm especially proud of because this one is the uh, Westphalia Natural Gas uh, Company. And uh, Westphalia is originally where I'm from, where I was born. Uh, and uh, North Rhine-Westphalia is, is the province in Germany. Westphalia is a part of it. And uh, yeah, and that's where that train car came from. Um, together with uh, also another uh, four axle um, uh, hopper car, coal car, ore car, uh, a little bit weathered already by the previous owner, as well as a little 
um, tank car from the EVA <clears throat> tank car company or, or train car company um, and then of course another one of my most favorite uh, fad FAD 150s uh, hopper cars it's a six axle six axle car um, used for transporting iron ore from northern Germany from the harbors in Hamburg down to Pina in the Ruhrgebiet as well as uh, um, another city I um, can't come up with the name now but anyways uh, these trains ran in units of 40 train cars uh, pulled by uh, dual uh, class 150s or E1 151s actually uh, 151 electric locomotives like uh, uh, this one just then in the uh, blue and uh, blue uh, and white paint, paint scheme uh, no no it's here right now uh, would be would be looking similar to this right uh, with the with the beige up on top and the, and the blue but then of course uh, three axle bogies on both sides um, they were they were pulling these these trains in, in double traction uh, and they used a special center coupling kind of like similar to the North American couplers um, because the trains like these ore trains weighed in at about 6,000 uh, tons so of course for the normal uh, screw and latch coupling that uh, the uh, Deutsche Bahn or Deutsche Bundesbahn before that um, used uh, uh, these these latch and, and screw couplings were not good enough for 6,000 kilo uh, 6,000 tons so uh, they used a center coupling similar to the to the uh, knuckle coupler in order to connect these train cars and they didn't have buffers anymore so uh, I have a whole bunch of these hopper cars and now I'll have to go by and uh, put a train together with as many as I have and see if, if we can pull it in double traction with maybe the green um, E151 or maybe even the red one because the red ones uh, still pull it today or used to pull it uh, up till 2000 I think 13 and then the class 189 the newer electric locomotives uh, took over pulling that those ore trains but uh, I have a video from from way back when uh, when I started making YouTube videos with the uh, with the uh, uh, class 232 the Luke Miller uh, pulling one of uh, my war trains and uh, it has the uh, Pina Salzgitter uh, train cars as well as the uh, Deutsche Bundesbahn FAD 150s mixed in a train which in prototypical life never happened um, because obviously the uh, Pina Salzgitter train cars are privately owned by Pina Salzgitter and um, the DB cars are not so so they were kept in separate trains um, but that's just to the history so uh, maybe I should just put those four cars on the track and see if we can let it go around for a few spins uh, with as many of the or car or cars I have so okay. hey guys I didn't want to let you wait any longer tried to find as many of my uh, FAD 150s as I could uh, but also I forgot to show you guys this guy um, Again, got it off eBay, uh, came all the way from England. The uh, reason I bought it is because it's the Westfälische Landeseisenbahn, the Westfalian uh, State Railway, or, or uh, however one want to say. But uh, it's, a, it's, yeah, it's still running today. Uh, it's a class 189 electric locomotive. And actually these guys pull today the order of trains and coal trains instead of the class E151 that's pulling this one here right now. Anyways, here's the locomotive uh, with some of the new, newly uh, added train cars. Obviously they're not new, they all used, but uh, nice condition and I bought a few more of these guys. So I can make kind of like a, a liquid gas train. Anyways, here comes the hopper cars. And uh, count them. I'm, that's all I could find right now. 
I think it makes it pretty nice trim. You can see the train cars have no buffers. Um, these would have the center couplings. And of course here is the ones that are not prototypical in this train. Yes, they should not be the DB coaches in there. One more time. They go nice and slow through the station. Too many switches. And of course the uh, Local E151 there, the rail line, uh, rail line does not have the, uh, does not have a sound decoder yet. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put one in. I will have to cut a little bit on it. And I think I'd much rather enjoy it like it is. And there you go. See you later. Yes, that was my little uh, video for this Friday night. Um, uh, I want to say a big thank you to everybody for watching and for subscribing uh, 200 subscribers since uh, yesterday morning. Thank you very much. See you next time and enjoy the videos. Bye.